In this video, we'll see how Brightpearl automation can save you time, get orders to customers faster, and produce management reports sooner. There are lots of moving parts just in the back office order processing within a retail or wholesale business, starting when a customer places an order and only finishing when all financial information is entered into your accounts. Checking orders for fraud, allocating inventory, updating sales channels, choosing whether to ship an order from your warehouse or dropship from a supplier, creating consignments for a carrier, sending dropship purchase orders, updating sales channels and customers to let them know their order has shipped, and then entering sales data into accounts. And that's assuming everything goes smoothly. When you have orders with problems, even more workflows crop up. The good news is that with Brightpool Automation, all the routine jobs like fulfillment, shipping, sales channel management, and even purchase ordering can be done for you, leaving lots more time for your staff to focus on the exceptions, those orders that don't follow the rules. With more focus on the exceptions, you'll be providing better customer service. As well as freeing up time, adding automation to your routine sales will lead to faster processing and your customers receiving their goods sooner. Here's an example of a merchant using Brightpearl before and after automation. Before automation, it took them over four days to ship orders, on average. Automation reduced this to less than a day. It also reduced invoicing time so that they could get their money faster and produce management reports sooner. Let's look at automation in a bit more detail. First, you'd set up rules. A rule is made of conditions and actions. If a sales order fits one of your chosen conditions, an action will be automatically performed. There's a large range of conditions you can choose from, using pretty much any field on a sales order, including custom fields. Here we'll just choose to automatically fulfill sales coming in from Amazon. Actions are things like fulfilling the order, which is creating a consignment for a carrier, updating the status, or invoicing the order at the end of the day when everything is shipped. You can even update custom fields. Automation rules are applied immediately an order is created and then subsequently on a schedule. You can use for your automation rule to run every 30 minutes or on a slower schedule if your action isn't time critical. If you choose daily, weekly or monthly then you have control over when the rule is run. You might send invoices for completed wholesale orders at the end of each weekday, for example. If any of the actions fail, perhaps you don't have enough stock to fulfill an order, then you can set the system to update the order to a status, which indicates it should be picked up manually. This includes the ability to send a notification by email to a staff member using your order status settings. So that's an overview of how the system works. Now we'll take a look at ways a typical retail or wholesale business can use automation. One of the most common uses is fulfilment. Most orders flowing through most businesses follow a pattern. If you have all the items in stock, the order needs to be shipped to the customer as soon as possible. Auto fulfilment will create goods out notes, which will then flow straight to your carrier system if you're using one of our carrier integrations. Then, when the carrier says the order is all shipped, Brightpearl will update your sales channels and let the customer know their order has shipped, including any tracking reference. Then, automation can kick in again and progress the order to closure by creating an invoice and entering all the data into Brightpearl's built-in accounting system. For most orders, the only manual work required is to pick the items and put them in a box. Everything else is automated, from the customer clicking buy to the order showing up in your income statement. Or perhaps some of your products require more interaction with the customer before you can ship them. Maybe you have to place a special order with a supplier, or maybe you have to assemble the order from component parts. It's easy to set up a rule which watches for a given SKU, or part of a SKU, and then move the order into a separate order status and a separate manual workflow. In this example, the merchant updates the order to give the customer a call to confirm they are buying the right product. Preventing losses due to fraud is another great way to use automation. If you've been stung by fraud before, you might be able to determine patterns such as order value by channel, shipping location and so on. You can set up rules to watch out for these and update the order status appropriately. So here we've got a condition where total value is more than $1000 and my channel is either eBay or Amazon. The action is updating the status to suspected fraud which means it won't be automatically fulfilled. 
And here's another example. A business sends out quotes to prospective customers. While it's a quote, the order status criteria on another fulfillment rule means that it won't get picked up. This rule progresses it when the quote is paid. So while the quote is on one of three quote statuses, we check the payment status, and when the quote becomes fully paid, we update the status to new phone order, which then falls into the regular fulfillment rule. You can choose which sequence in which rules are applied, so that exceptions, like fraud or the need to call a customer, are run before orders are fulfilled. Automation is not just for order processing either. You can use automation to apply customer tags based on any criteria, such as channel or products that they've bought and so on, which is great for marketing segmentation. Pretty much any pattern you can identify can be set up with rules to either process an order automatically or to sideline it for manual fulfillment. Automation can process tens of thousands of orders a day and it's saving many merchants huge amounts of time. It's powerful stuff. For more information, get in touch with our sales team or your account manager.